Hey, welcome back to the channel. This video I'll be showing you how I get rid of my rust on the frame of my FJ Cruiser. Take a look. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chotec. Switching over to the 787. So this is what it looks like uh, before I started the, this project. You can see that rust. It's surface rust. It's not deep. But it's rust and it's the beginning. And if I'm going to hold on to the FJ for a while, I might as well do it. nasty it looks but it's uh it's just surface rust not too harmful but you know what a lot of people in the comments uh, were writing uh, were commenting about it and I said I have uh, extra time off and it's not too expensive so I might as well do it you know preserve it and prevent it from uh, getting any worse uh, over the years of course, if you have a lift, your own lift at uh, at a shop, you can lift a truck and do all four at once. That would be the proper way, the fastest way. But this is uh, the way I do it in my garage at home. I have time, so I do one uh, one wheel uh, bay at at a time. Just lift that side up. Each quarter of the truck takes about an hour, an hour and a half. But you need to wait 24 hours for uh, the the converter, the rust converter, to dry up before you can paint it. So the first step will be to get rid of this rust, uh, tapping it with a hammer or a small uh, mallet or anything metal. Of course I uh, cleaned uh, the day before, cleaned all the grease off uh, with water and soap. As you can see, surface rust is coming off that's a part we want to get off so we can paint under that coat any paint you put on the rust itself on these chips uh, won't seal the whole area so we got to make sure to clean all of these little chips and pieces of uh, rust Look at all the rust chips. I'm getting a good amount uh, off. So I guess uh, the scaling with uh, the mallet or the hammer is uh, working. It seems like the most rust is uh, forming around the welds. And of course the lower part, the swing arm. the next step clean everything up all the rust all the uh, residue with uh, I don't know a wire brush a drill with a wire brush uh, head and just get in there to all The next step is going to be to convert the rust into uh, black paint primer, and for that I'm using Coro Seal rust converting metal primer. I picked this up at uh, on Amazon, and it was like uh, I think $19, something like that. Uh, you can find a link uh, for the, this uh, uh, down by the description. I've seen some uh, YouTube uh, reviews of this, and it's uh, pretty good. 
pretty good uh, converter. So Amazon, you know. So it's pretty much uh, a white, white kind of paint. It smells like vinegar. I'm sure it's based uh, on vinegar and some other chemical. And pretty much what it does, once you apply it and it dries up, it turns black. A smaller brush for this the nukes and crannies you can see that as you apply it it, it comes on uh, it starts white comes on uh, white and then it turns uh, purple I guess it's uh, starting the chemical reaction and you need to let it uh, cure it takes 24 hours and that's when you can uh, paint it well, that will be the last step see I don't care too much uh, yeah, to do a nice job here just apply it any old places because once it's cured uh, I'm gonna paint that with the final coat so just want to make sure that I get all uh, all the rust covered the next day this is what it looks like 24 hours later after the paint is uh, uh, the rust converter has cured has dried up everything is black all the rust uh, stains the rust is black now sealed and next step is going to be actually to uh, put the top coat or the undercarriage uh, paint. But it came out really nice. Of course, th these these things like that are just uh, mud guards and stuff like that. I, I didn't bother. It's no point. I just cared about the chassis and the swing arm. Last step, 24 hours later, is spraying the undercoating. In this case, I used Rust-Oleum. I picked it up uh, at the local... Uh, AutoZone, but definitely you can buy things like that at, at uh, on Amazon, and there are different kinds, and there are a lot of videos out there uh, comparing the undercoatings. Truthfully, I don't see a very big difference between them. I just picked it up. I'm going to use the, I bought four of them, so I'm going to use uh, each one of these on a quarter of uh, the truck. Before I put the undercoat, of course, I'm going to uh, tape up the area. And protect so I don't get uh, paint all over the shocks the spring and stuff like that and any rubberized or seal so I taped up all the parts that I don't want to get uh, any paint on uh, the shocks the springs and any uh, rubber or seal that uh, there's absolutely no need to protect and there's no need for uh, to add any paint weight on it or anything. So just taped it up and now I'm gonna start uh, spray painting it. Now that's what it looks like after it's dry, cured, and without the uh, tape, and that's the final result. Pretty nice if you compare it to what it was before. Of course, I didn't touch the rotors or anything, just the chassis. So that's it. I'm wrapping up this video. Thank you for watching. Got two out of the four uh, done. Thank you for watching. These are the two wheels.
that's it. I just finished uh, two uh, wheels out of the four. I'm not going to wait with this video. I'm going to post it and finish off the two other wheels. Thank you for watching. Peace out.